Have you ever wondered if there's a secret recipe to wealth and happiness? What if I told you that the answer lies within the pages of a book, not just any book, but the Almanac of Naval Ravikant, a treasure trove of wisdom and insight. This is no ordinary book. It distills the philosophies of Naval Ravikant, a successful entrepreneur, angel investor, and thought leader who has profoundly impacted the world of startups. In this video, we'll explore seven key lessons from the book. Lessons that can potentially transform your perspective on wealth, happiness, learning, decision-making, and life itself. Who is Naval Ravikant, you ask? He's the co-founder of AngelList, a man with a deep understanding of the entrepreneurial landscape and a philosopher who believes in the power of perpetual learning, honesty, and living authentically. Now, let's dive into these lessons and discover how they can shape your path to success and contentment. What comes to your mind when you think of wealth? Do you see dollar signs, luxury cars, and opulent mansions? Or perhaps you imagine a life free from financial stress, where every day is your own? For Naval Ravikant, wealth is redefined beyond money. It's about freedom and the ability to make choices. Consider the case of an acclaimed author. They may not have the most impressive bank balance compared to a Wall Street tycoon, but they have the wealth of creativity, the freedom to express their thoughts, and the power to influence millions through their words. Or think about a successful entrepreneur who has built a business from the ground up. Sure, the financial returns can be substantial, but the real wealth lies in the journey. The lessons learned, the relationships built, the satisfaction of creating something of value. Then there's the teacher shaping the minds of the future. Their wealth is not in material possessions, but in the knowledge they impart, the lives they touch, and the legacy they leave behind. So, let's broaden our perspective. Let's redefine wealth as not just the accumulation of money, but as the freedom to live life on our own terms, to pursue our passions, and to make a difference. Wealth is more than just money. It's about freedom and the ability to make choices. Do you believe happiness comes from having more? This is a common misconception that Naval Ravikant eloquently addresses in his book, The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. He suggests that true happiness is achieved not by accumulating more, but by eliminating a sense of lack. Take, for instance, the story of a monk who lives in the mountains. His worldly possessions are few, a simple robe, a bowl for arms, and a peaceful smile that never leaves his face. He doesn't yearn for a luxurious mansion or a fancy car, his happiness is not tethered to material possessions, but to a state of mind that thrives in simplicity. Similarly, think about a minimalist who has chosen to live with just the essentials. She finds joy not in the abundance of things, but in the abundance of experiences and relationships. Her happiness stems from the freedom that comes with wanting less. These examples illustrate Navel's wisdom. Happiness is not about having more, but about wanting less. It's about understanding that the pursuit of more often leads to a never-ending cycle of discontent. When we learn to eliminate our sense of lack, we discover that true happiness lies within us, not in the material world around us. Happiness is not about having more, but about wanting less. How do you approach learning in your life? Imagine a scenario. You're at the helm of a thriving startup. Your success, however, isn't just a stroke of luck or the result of a single brilliant idea. It's the outcome of a lifelong commitment to learning, to constantly expanding your knowledge and skills. This is the essence of Naval Ravikant's philosophy on learning. He passionately advocates for perpetual learning, a continual journey of discovery and growth. He emphasizes the value of acquiring foundational skills, those fundamental abilities that can be applied across a range of scenarios. Think of Elon Musk who taught himself rocket science to launch SpaceX, or Bill Gates, who spent countless hours learning about computer programming. Naval's philosophy encourages us to be like these entrepreneurs, to view learning not as a chore but as an opportunity. After all, in an ever-evolving world, the most successful individuals are those who adapt, who constantly learn and innovate. So let's take a leaf out of Naval's book. Let's commit to being lifelong learners, to continuously expanding our knowledge and honing our skills. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. How often do you trust your judgment over following the crowd? It's a question that can make or break your entrepreneurial journey. In the almanac of Naval Ravikant, judgment is not just a passing concept, but a cornerstone of success. It's not about being right all the time, but about being right when it matters most. 
Consider some of the world's most successful entrepreneurs. They didn't achieve their status by following the crowd. They trusted their judgment, even when it defied conventional wisdom. They saw potential where others saw risk. They took the road less traveled and it made all the difference. Steve Jobs, for instance, trusted his judgment when he decided to launch the iPhone, a product that revolutionized the tech industry. He saw a future that no one else did and trusted his judgment to bring it to life. Now let's bring this concept closer to home. Every entrepreneur has those crossroads moments where they need to choose between following the crowd or trusting their judgment. It's in these moments that the seeds of success are sown. Remember, judgment is not about making perfect decisions. It's about making decisions that align with your vision and having the courage to see them through. In the words of Naval Ravi Khan, you're not going to get rich renting out your time. You must own equity, a piece of a business, to gain your financial freedom. Your judgment can be your greatest asset. Trust it. Ever wondered how the rich keep getting richer? It's not just about working harder or smarter. It's about understanding the power of equity ownership. Naval Ravikant, a renowned entrepreneur and angel investor, offers some compelling insights on this matter. He suggests that to build substantial wealth, one must own a piece of a profitable enterprise. Think of the successful entrepreneurs you know. They didn't just earn a salary, they owned equity in their businesses. This ownership stake, or equity, is what catapulted their wealth to stratospheric levels. Take for example the founders of tech giants such as Amazon, Google, and Facebook. They didn't amass their fortunes by trading hours for dollars, but by owning a significant slice of highly profitable companies. Their equity ownership allowed them to benefit massively from the growth and success of these organizations. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm not a tech founder. How does this apply to me? Well, you don't necessarily have to start a billion dollar tech company to leverage the power of equity. You can own equity in various forms, like owning shares of a public company, having a stake in a small business, or even owning your own home. However, it's important to note that equity ownership isn't a guaranteed path to riches. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution and comes with its own set of risks. The value of your equity can fluctuate and in some cases, it might even become worthless. But despite these risks, the potential upside of equity ownership is vast. It's a game changer, a wealth multiplier. As Naval puts it, you're not going to get rich renting out your time. You must own equity, a piece of a business, to gain your financial freedom. Equity is a key to wealth, but remember it comes with its own risks. What role does authenticity play in your life? This question might seem straightforward, but it's a powerful one that requires deep introspection. According to Naval Ravikant, the author of The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, authenticity is not just about being true to oneself, it's about being present, embracing accountability, and living authentically. Being present is about immersing yourself fully in the now, not being distracted by the past or anxious about the future. This is the state where you can tap into your true potential and creativity. It's where you can truly connect with others and the world around you. Accountability, on the other hand, is about owning your actions and their consequences. It's about understanding that every decision you make shapes your reality. It's about realizing that you are the author of your life story, not a mere spectator. Living authentically is about aligning your actions with your values and beliefs. It's about not pretending to be someone you're not just to fit in or please others. It's about expressing your true self, even if it means standing out from the crowd. Consider the likes of Elon Musk or Oprah Winfrey. They didn't achieve their success by conforming to societal norms or expectations. They did it by being authentic, by being true to their visions and values, by embracing accountability for their actions, and by being fully present in their pursuits. So, ask yourself again, what role does authenticity play in your life? Are you living authentically? Are you embracing accountability? Are you being present? Authenticity isn't a destination, but a journey. It's a continuous process of self-discovery and growth. Remember, your authentic self is your biggest strength. So, what's your recipe for wealth and happiness? We've journeyed through the seven key lessons from the Almanac of Naval Ravikant. We've redefined wealth, discovered the happiness equation, learned the power of perpetual learning, understood the importance of judgment, and explored the path to wealth through equity ownership. We've also embraced accountability and authenticity. 
As we end, remember, your journey to wealth and happiness is yours to forge. Go on your journey to wealth and happiness with these lessons. And don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences with us.